Hello Coffeeholics, welcome back. In this video clip, we are going to establish whether we can use soda water instead of tonic water for espresso tonic. Some of my viewers have asked me, is there a difference in the taste using soda water and tonic water? The reason why some people or some shops use soda water is because they are cheaper in my part of the world than tonic water. So today we are going to establish whether we can actually substitute soda water for tonic water. I am going to use 16 ounces and one shot of espresso. For the recipes for 16 and 22 ounces, I am going to put them in the description box below, so don't forget to check them out. I am going to use my medium roast coffee beans, my soda water and my tonic water and to give it a bit of a sweet depth and lemony twist to it, I'm going to make use of my homemade lemon syrup. If you haven't yet seen the video tutorial on how to make my homemade lemon syrup, do check it out. We are going to start by pulling our espresso shots. Today we are going to make uh, two different drinks. This time we are going to make budget-friendly sparkling coffee using espresso and the other is the same espresso tonic. And then we are going to let Christiana tell us the difference between the two and how each one is different from the other. Okay. Which one is better? We will also find out. Okay? okay. So I've got my espresso shot there. Yes? I'll just take both of them. Okay, take both of them beautiful smelling coffee here okay now let's start with the first one and we're going to use the let's start with espresso tonic okay where's the measuring cup yep that's that's um, one shot of espresso and then let's put um four ounces or 120 ml of tonic Put a little bit, just a little bit, and then we're going to see that spritz there. It is looking great. Guess what? What? We forgot something. What? The oh. lemon syrup. Okay, let's put about uh, two teaspoons of lemon syrup. Sorry about yeah. that. It's okay because it gets mixed in all, all the same anyway. Okay. So two teaspoons of lemon syrup, which is equivalent to about 10 milliliters. Okay, let's just put some um, garnishing there, some slice of lemon or a lemon wedge. Let's do the second one. For the second one, it's very similar, so this time we're going to use soda water. Okay. Swirl that first so you get the crema. And this time, don't forget the lemon syrup. There you go. Should we add it at the end, actually, so it's the same? No, it's alright. No, it doesn't matter, end. actually. It should be better to put it there. Yeah, we stir it. Okay. okay. Just give it a swirl. Right. And uh, same amount. the same amount of soda water. This is very, very bubbly. Okay. Once again, just put a little bit first. Okay. 
So this is after you put a little bit of the soda water there, very, very fizzy. And then we are going to add the ice. The rest of our soda water. Oh my. Ooh. What does it remind you of? It reminds me of Shakerato. Wow, look at that separation. The separation happens underneath, which is okay. looking good. Okay, and let's put our final touch here, our lemon wedge. They look quite different. Uh, this one's more separated and this one's more put together. Okay. It will be interesting to taste it. Right, so you have, maybe you give it a bit of mix and then to make sure that the lemon syrup is mixed with the espresso and tonic. Okay. And then we'll put this one there. Soda versus tonic water. <laughs> She's going to do it that way. <laughs> okay. This is the one I know and love. Mm. No? <laughs> My vote would be no. I don't know. It's like, it tastes like there's no substance into it. It's very, it's very uh, gassy. <laughs> is it like a, it's a fizzy drink, really? Yeah, it's so. very fizzy. Right. Lost the word. But you honestly can't appreciate the um, the coffee or mm -hmm. anything at all. It it literally tastes empty. Yeah, in comparison to this one, it makes such a huge difference. Is this like lemon flavored or is it no, just this tonic? No, just regular tonic water. Oh really? Oh, I didn't know there was a difference between tonic and soda like that. Wow. Oh, which one was my straw? Um, this <laughs> I want to. I want to keep it. Okay. Okay. Right. Right. I think I would agree with her that the soda seems to be. I don't know which straw it was. That's right. Uh, um. Mm -hmm. What can I say? Empty. I think uh, empty yeah. is the word. It's not wow. You know, it, it's a. Um, that's that's being there's really no kind. Wow factor. <laughs> Whereas the espresso and tonic, absolutely mind blowing. Right. Don't okay. do it, like really don't do it. <laughs> so what we're doing here is we're trying them so you don't have to. Yeah. Well, there you go. Um, no excuse and no substitute for tonic water. You should use tonic water to make that perfectly refreshing, delicious blend of espresso and something fizzy, which yep. is the tonic water. Yep. So that's all we have today. We hope that this video tutorial is useful. If you want to save money by using soda water, you probably will lose your customers. So don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just don't do don't it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> stay tuned for more of these video tutorials. In the meantime, take care, stay safe, subscribe to this channel, and we'll see you again in future video tutorials. Thank you for watching. Ciao for Ciao now. For now. Don't do it. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, just don't do it. <laughs>